Hey y'all, this is my garlic and it's probably not ready to harvest but I want to take a peek at how it's doing. This is soft neck garlic and um, soft neck garlic will store on your shelves a lot longer than hard neck garlic but it doesn't have as bold a taste and the cloves are a little bit smaller. This is what they grow in or what they sell mostly in uh, grocery stores because it stores longer and soft neck garlic you can braid into um, garlic braids garlic wreaths I'm not sure what they're called I'm going to attempt to do that maybe this year so anyways Tiny Tim's with me in the garden and what what we really would want to see is about half of these leaves um, dried um, where I only have about two or so um, brown and dried so we're not quite there but I do want to take a peek at how large the garlic heads have gotten so I'm going to uh, dig down around a couple of them just to take a peek and then I'll cover them back up. Tiny Tim wants a couple cuddles so I'll do that first. So I'm trying to do this garlic sneak peek and Tiny Tim's up on my back. I don't really want to like bump him off but Tiny Tim, that is not a lap. Oi. <laughs> he does like to nibble and bite and I really don't want him to nibble or bite like my ears or my face because I'm not petting him. <sighs> I radioed Daniel. He's watching me from inside and he's just laughing at me. Hey Tim, you ready to get down? No, you're just gonna clean yourself. Okay. I guess I'm ah! <laughs> little butthead. Alright, let's get to work. Okay, so we have one, two leaves that are dried out. So really we need at least these two before this would be ready to harvest. And I'm digging down. This is the roots here. And this is the bulb. So it kind of grew like a leek. I'm curious how the other ones did. I was really excited because it was such a fat stalk. I thought it was producing a large uh, bulb but I guess not. Maybe I'll dig up another one or two, but in good news, look at this big fat worm. Very happy to see that. We'll just put him back in there and bury him up. Hey y'all, the garlic is not ready and I don't know that that's gonna turn out very well but that's my first time planting garlic and buying garlic in the stores. For gardening was extremely expensive, so I just bought some garlic in the grocery store and used that. So maybe that was the issue. I don't know. We'll see what it turns up when I actually harvest it. I am going to be planting some freesias and some ranunculus, if that's how you say it. Um, getting them ready starting them in these pots and then and then um, moving them to a, a bigger location a larger pot when they sprout hopefully I've never grown these so I'm new to all of this you need to help me paint him so let's get started Let's go. 
Hey y'all, it is Sunday and I want to show you the chicken coop and the progress we've made and we're just finishing up. We had a storm come through the other day while we were working on it. Daniel is getting the last of the chicken litter loaded into the wagon so he can put it in the garden beds. They are using this laying nest box, this roll away nest box. And it's because it's not all cozy down below anymore. All the bedding's gone. So we have one, one chicken there laying an egg. We'll probably cover up that area she's laying in to encourage her to lay somewhere else. And then we have those laying boxes over there and the chickens have been laying their eggs in there as well. So let's go see the garden beds. Here's my garlic and I have some onions in the middle and then some garlic I planted a little bit later in the season. Here's the garden beds. So the black is topsoil and then we just have uh, the chicken litter so I need to put more topsoil soil on. So I'm gonna go get some cardboard to finish lining that box. So Daniel can put chicken litter in there and then we'll top all these with topsoil. Hey y'all and good morning. Um, these are some hanging flower pots that I keep on the porch and I've cut back everything that died from last season and I'm going to plant some of the seeds of the flowers that I started indoors. Ironically I forgot what these are but I labeled it and these are called forget-me-nots and um, I have no experience with forget-me-nots. I was looking online to see how big they get I have to keep searching because I didn't see how large, but I plan to put some in here as well as some sweet Williams, which I have sitting over there that I also started inside. So come join me. So I think I'm a little inspired this morning because it's gorgeous out. We had fresh rain last night, but I went to flower club in my community and I toured um, somebody nearby their house and seeing native flowers and non-native flowers and all the work they've done and so anyways this morning I want to plant some flowers and make make my home all pretty and um, colorful so that, this is gonna be my attempt. Hopefully these plants survive. I am very bad at having plants in pots. I don't tend to water them enough. And then if I'm really on it, I overwater them. I do very good with plants that go in the ground. <laughs> so we'll see how I do with these. Hey y'all, I am going to be planting onions and cabbages together because they are companion plants it means that what one plant absorbs from the soil the other one doesn't so they do well together in the same area that you plant them these are my cabbages that I started indoors 
and they look extremely sad. I've never grown a cabbage before, let alone ever from seed. Um, I think I heard yesterday that I should have been growing these in the fall because they're cold hardy and now we're going to be getting warm weather. So they probably won't do well. They're going to grow, but then they're, they're, they're going to put up uh, flowers and seeds rather than a head of cabbage. But I'm learning, so I'm just going to put them in, see how many survive, and then what happens with the weather and how they do. So live and learn. You guys can uh, maybe not do the mistakes that I do. And then I have these um, onions, which I had bought for fall, but I was planting them all by hand by myself in a very, where my garlic is. It's not really ideal and the soil is hard. So these ones are left over. As you can see, some of them have survived. Um, a number of them went bad. So I'm going to plant these and hopefully these do well. I have no idea. Um, I think this is the right season because I'm seeing these in stores, um, but they're not the small. The ones that are in stores are a little more um, further along. So anyways, I'm gonna put them in the bed and we'll see what happens. I forgot to mention these T posts here, I'm using that as a guide. So I plant in a relatively straight line. So because I layered this with cardboard to help prevent weeds from popping up, I have to use a drill to get through the cardboard. Um, that way the plants can get their roots down underneath where all the good nutrients is and where the most moisture will be held when it is warmer out. So that's what I'm using is a hand drill. my red onions and red cabbage planted and I'm a little worried that my red cabbages you know they're so delicate from being inside and not having the proper uh, situation for them that it's gonna get warm here and they're just gonna shrivel up and die so I've watered them we'll see living and learning Okay, and then over here, I planted the white onions with the green cabbages. And the green cabbage seemed to be a bit more hardy than the red. We'll see if any of them make it. And in this bed, I have my two strawberry plants. These were babies from the one plant I bought last year, so I have 100% increased how many plants I have. Um, <laughs> Y'all might remember if you've been with me for a while, I had like 50 little babies and um, I let them die. These are the only ones that made it and oh, these ones are gonna be really great, strong plants because I did not take good care of them. And here's the mother. Um, I believe this one here is the mom. Uh, and so we have one here, another, another, and all these other ones in here. Here's one, um, here's one. Those are babies that the mother plant put off and I just kept putting them back in. And I'm, I'm thinking that they're likely alive, even though they don't look like it. I'm gonna soak them and keep watering them and we'll see if any of them come back to life. But I'm hoping at least one of them is alive and then it will offshoot babies and then I can easily just throw them in this bed and that way I don't kill them. And these little green things here, those are green onions I had bought from the store, used, kept the little root balls and they grew back so I put them in the garden. Peach was like killing them so anyways I got green onions with my strawberries and then over there is the garlic and some onions in there. Um, it, it dawned on me the other day, I was so excited thinking these onions, or these garlic over here were going to be uh, massive. And I bought them from the store, at, just like grocery store, and I planted them. 
and I thought they were massive because the stalk, let's walk over there. Hi Fluffy, baby girl, you're okay, you're okay. So the stalk, these were the ones I planted first and then these are some I planted maybe a month later. The stalks are super thick. Um, they're about an inch thick for the large ones. And I thought, oh my gosh, the fact that they're so thick, it must have a really big bulb. After digging them up and kind of seeing that's not the case, they are more like leeks. Um, it dawned on me that the thickness is because it is so windy here, the plant has to make um, the stalk thicker. Uh, sunflowers do the same thing. If it's if it's very windy where they are, they'll have a really thick stalk to them. If it, there's not a lot of um, resistance while the plant is growing up, it will have a much thinner stalk to the sunflower. So I guess that's what's going on here. Um, so we'll, we'll see what we get when the leaves die back and I dig them up. We'll see what survives, but I'm just doing something because that's better than doing nothing. And if I fail, then I'll learn and I won't do that next time. So um, I sowed my seeds a little too early indoors, which I knew I was doing, but I was like, I can get away with it, right? Um, and then I let them dry out. So I'm, I'm making mistakes, but hopefully I don't make them next year and I learn, right? So anyways, thanks for watching.